25 years ago today, about six people gathered in a room in Reading and launched a newscast focusing on Berks County. The hard work by that group and everyone who came on board since helped the Berks edition grow and find innovative ways to cover the community. We wanted to mark the occasion with a look back at those early days. Here's WFMZ's Karen Millette. This is 69 News Berks Edition, live at 5.30. Brooks edition started July 24th, 1995. The promise from day one, and a newscast you can call your own. This is Channel 69 News, Brooks edition. Good evening and thanks for joining us on the very first Berks edition. And at the top tonight, the forecast is a real hot one in Berks County. From extreme heat to devastating tornadoes, snowy, bitter cold days to breaking news and sports. 25 years, 69 News has weathered both the good and the bad with its loyal viewers in Berks County. We got it done. Sometimes it was a little crazy. Phillies broadcaster Greg Murphy got his start covering Berks sports. And playing second base for the Reading Phils is a chance to play baseball every single day. We were excited. We were kind of, you know, the new thing in Reading, and I think the, uh, the viewers were excited about getting their own newscast. Matt Roth joined the news team, and Mike Reiner joined the sales team during that first year. Our Berks newsroom was a small office within the Reading Eagle building right off of Ford Street. And then after uh, that first year, we moved next door on Penn Street. The team changed and grew. Those dining at Joe's tonight. 69 News anchor Wendy Davis got her start reporting in Reading about 18 months in. The earlier people kind of paved the way, but we, you know, TV news was still relatively new, having TV crews there at every press event. You know, you have to prove yourself like anything. Everyone still remembers those early challenges. We had an extra step being a satellite office, we had to make sure we got the tape back, we got it edited, and then we had to send it up to, to uh, Allentown to make sure that it got on the air. When we had all those thunderstorms, the links between Reading and Allentown would go down a lot, and if people knew what we went through uh, to get those shows on the air sometimes. A problem that could mean driving tapes to Allentown or a relay point in Kutztown. Stacy Stoffer, most recently seen on QVC, was one of the first producers. It was four inmates running the asylum. She remembers some long days and how close the team was in the small newsroom. We were excited, but we also felt like the underdogs. Communicating with anchors in a studio 35 miles away had its challenges. More changes came in 1998 with the Brooks edition at 10.30, replacing a rebroadcast of the 5.30 newscast. The addition of the 10.30 news and it being live was a nice feature. In late 2007, staff made a big move to a state-of-the-art space on the lower level of the Albert Boscov Plaza on Court Street. The commitment to the community continued through it all, with staff taking part in parades, career fairs, and festivals. My favorite thing about being a producer for the Brooks edition was when it was Jazz Fest time. We try to be at the good things happening in the community. Getting the story means going anywhere. The Gulf Coast with the Convoy of Hope after Hurricane Katrina, or with the Reading Cares Group to earthquake-rattled Puerto Rico. Crews also get the scoop covering political conventions, future Phillies at spring training, even the NBA draft. In some ways, things haven't changed. Everybody uh, had a lot of pride in what we were trying to do each and every night. The foundation that the Burks edition still is today, the style, the feel, was all put together in those early years. The Burks edition won the station's first Emmy Award for Outstanding Newscast in 2005 and remains committed to covering it all. The rising stars, presidential visits, and there are no plans of slowing down. I don't know where the years went, I don't know where my hair went, but I just hope we can keep the Burks edition going forward, Lord willing, for a long time to come. So true, right? 25 Hi. years. Wow. For more on the anniversary, the 25th anniversary, there's John Brodsky, uh, you can visit the uh, Burks page at WFMZ.com. We've posted a photo gallery there that takes you back to uh, big stories and notable moments and notable people, notable friends of ours from over the years. Pretty cool. Seems like only, only a moment, oh, although some God. of us look very different than uh, 25 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was nice to you see everybody. To see I, oh, Dan, yeah. what was I wearing? That was what you heard me repeatedly <laughs> say during that story. <laughs> Wardrobe and hairstyles, yeah. The, a little different. The most frequent comments. Oh, my. But I'm sure, because because I know you well, it was in fashion at the time. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. At the uh, time. Maybe not 20 years or 25 years later. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, things change. 